What happens when we find obstacles in our path to success? Quoting Mr. Renton Fay, outside pressure has made us more united. But let's listen from Huawei employees how they have transformed this outside pressure into a success driver. Well, hi, Robert. Thank you for being here with us. Okay, so now talking about pressure, which elements bring pressure into your work? There is actually a lot of pressure in my current work. Uh, we have a multitude of different scenarios or situations globally that we need to prioritize. And one of the most important aspects of my work is to prioritize the consumer experience in retail stores. You imagine 10,000 brand representatives in different countries globally speaking different languages and trying to communicate with them all of those answers and solutions so that they can prioritize the consumer experience as much as possible and to provide the right information to consumers. So I think that's probably the biggest pressure point. And do you think that pressure can be a good thing? definitely be a good thing. I think it encourages uh, people to achieve something that they may not have realized could have been possible. Once you achieve some form of success, uh, there is also a risk that people become complacent. So yeah. it's really, really important that you continue to maintain a level of pressure that, yeah. that supports growth, that supports uh, transformation, that supports continued focus on, on results. Are there times where you welcome pressure or times where you're afraid of this pressure? I think most people are very, very, especially in Huawei, there's a culture of embracing pressure uh, and driving towards results quickly at high speed. In Huawei, if you're able to achieve a, a real business result, there's a huge amount of recognition and reward at the end of that result once it's achieved. So th there's a, a very strong culture that, that uh, encourages and embraces pressure. Also, uh, the retail industry recently has gone through a lot of pressure these years. Do you think this has created new opportunities? During that pandemic period, a lot of our retail teams globally at a regional level and at a country level uh, identified that we needed to think outside the square to drive transformation and to maintain our vision of bringing a, a digital, intelligent, connected life to consumers all around the planet. Uh, and one of that changes, or one of the key changes, was live streaming. Live streaming via social networks and you know, communicating to consumers, answering questions via social networks, uh, building communities on social networks so that people didn't feel disconnected, but people still felt that they could connect and communicate. What do you think would happen if we don't go through it? Well, if we're not able to transform and overcome the hurdles and the obstacles, that we're currently facing that we won't be able to survive. Uh, there's a huge amount of competition in the marketplace. A lot of competitive brands understand that you know, for a consumer space or consumer products or consumer experience to stay relevant, uh, that we, we must transform and continue to focus on the consumer. So thank you, Robert, for your time. It's been a pleasure to talk to you. My pleasure. And hope to see you around in the campus. Thank you. Okay, thank you so much. Bye -bye.